Hey folks, your Friday edition of Daily Dub, and it's been a busy week. I've had a very busy week, actually. One of the busiest uh, work weeks when I haven't been on the road in a very long time. Quite a bit of uh, things going on. So, it's been very busy. Um, but it is Friday. It is lunch break. I need to go warm up some uh, leftovers for lunch. But I thought I'd talk to you real quick and do our Daily Dub. So, my question today is from Sean Macklin, and it is around uh, my thoughts around the uh, finales, uh, the series finales of like Sopranos, Breaking Bad. I'll talk about some other series finales. Uh, and, and right here, I'm going to let you know those shows may be lost or some other older shows. There will be spoilers in this. Uh, so first, let me talk about a few things that gives you a chance to turn it off if you don't want to before I answer the question. A reminder, uh, Big Dub merch is available. I'll put a link up here somewhere. And uh, if you want to go get some shirts or stickers or whatever, uh, please do. I think the folks that have had it are enjoying it. The response has been really positive. I appreciate that very much. Uh, second thing, uh, in the description, I'll put a link to the Pence Pack Facebook group. Josh Pence and I are running a giveaway in the Facebook group. You need to join the group. You need to leave a comment on each of our videos and be subscribed to each of our videos. And then post a picture there. It's not too terrible. It's a lot to read. We want to make sure you're following the rules because we have a lot to give away if a lot of people enter. And we want to give it all away. Uh, if a lot of people don't enter, there won't be as many things to give away. But we really like, I have a lot of stuff I'd like to give away. And I want it to be for folks that are loyal. Subscribe to both channels. Watch both channels. Also, we're in the Facebook group. We're interactive. We want to reward those of you probably that are watching this and not uh, some of the folks that only watch every once in a while, but then they see a giveaway and they do a bunch of entries and they try to win. We want this to be for our loyal fans. So uh, please go to the Pinsback Facebook group. Look at the top of the group. There'll be an announcement that Josh posted, and uh, that's where the information is. And there's a bunch of people that have already entered. So uh, we'd like to, that to be in the hundreds, and it'll be a big haul. I mean, it could be 10, 15 figures by the time it's all said and done. So, yeah, you know, in the air, hey. Now, after those two reminders, uh, you'll get one more Daily Dub tomorrow than the new episode of Dub Life on Sunday. You saw the trailer for it on Wednesday. I hope you're excited for that. Um, I've actually not been filming Dub Life this week. I've, as I said, I've been very busy with work. I've, I've not done anything of interest, really, over the past several days that you would be interested in. I've done a lot, quite a bit of work. Uh but today, this afternoon, this evening, uh, I'll start filming the net next episode of Dub Life. But you still have a few before you get to where we are right now. So no interruptions for you. I've just uh, been busy trying to recharge. So now, to the question. What do I think about the finales of Breaking Bad, The Sopranos, and then kind of other things? So uh, a caveat here, or maybe a, a, a top-level discussion first. I don't have to have every question, every what-if answered for me in a television show. A lot of times writers are writing things to pique interest and to get you to come back in the hooks. And like every good story in the world, you don't know everything. You never learn everything. Just like in your life. You never learn necessarily why every single thing happened or what that was about or why did you go through that. But those things could still shape the way you feel about something, right? Like think about something that happened long ago in, in childhood. You may not have any idea why that happened. But it could define elements of what you are today. Storytellers do the same thing. And so while sometimes, sure, maybe they didn't know how to pay it off or they never intended to pay it off, other times it's just part of the story. That's what storytelling is. And I enjoy storytelling. So with that said, I don't have to have every loose end tied up. This is not the way I am. Most television shows that get me, they get me because of plot, but they get me because of wonderful character development. Both these shows, Sopranos and Breaking Bad, Excellent, excellent character development, excellent plot. The first one is Sopranos, so if you've not seen the ending, it's like over 10 years old, but if you haven't, stop now. Uh, you know, the main thing of Sopranos, Journey's playing, Don't Stop Believing, and you see all these different series of events. You've got Meadow parking trying to come in. You've got Tony and the family sitting down at, at like a restaurant, a diner, or whatever. You've got these other guys coming in. You've got the restroom. You've got all this stuff, and... It just ends. It fades to black. And I remember watching that with my friends, and we were watching Sopranos every week, um, just like we do Game of Thrones now. And uh, we literally ran upstairs to my other TV 
to see, okay, did the DVR turn off or the cable box or whatever? Like, what the heck just happened? You realize it faded to black. Um, Ch uh, Chase is the creator, right? And he went away for uh, a year and didn't take any press. And then he came back and they asked him, well, what do you think about the reception to the Sopranos ending? And he, I think his response was something along the lines of, you're still talking about it a year later and been waiting to ask me. I think it went pretty well. If my story is still in your minds. And then all these years later now, we still talk about the ending to that show. A lot of people were upset at it. You either wanted to see Tony get killed or you wanted to see Meadow get killed or you wanted whatever. Um, and I think it's basically what, what happened to Tony Soprano is whatever you wrote in your mind. Because remember, the reason we're always disappointed in some extent or another by something is because of the story we wrote in our minds, the way we think a thing is going to end, is always going to be our favorite way. It's very difficult for a creator to beat what you thought the ending was going to be because that's your ending. And so I thought it was very creative that he allowed us to write our own ending to that story. So I liked the ending at the at the time, and I was much younger then, and, and much, um, I just, my, my maturity was not at a place where I understood what they were doing intellectually. Um, I was frustrated for a while. I was like, well, why didn't you just show us? Why didn't you just show us? But it, that wasn't long, and then I started to understand what was really happening, and uh, so I liked it. Breaking Bad, on the other hand, I think has a very a very definitive ending. It's very different. So if you haven't seen Breaking Bad, move away now. Um, you know, we got some pretty clear ending in that. There was quite a bit of death. You had the end of Walter White. You had Jesse get away. I hear there's going to be a Breaking Bad movie that's going to be about Jesse. Um, you know, most of our major characters, we know what happened. We know what happened to Gus. We know what happened to Hank. Like, th things happened. And that show, very clear, very definitive. They went back and they tied the narrative together. Uh, I think that the way they tell the story, the way the story is on Better Call Saul, the early work from that team on the X-Files, they are master, master storytellers. And they seem to have a, a much bigger picture and they want to tell a through line that connects. Uh, that's slightly different than the way The Sopranos did it. Breaking Bad probably viewed as one of the best finales of all time. And I think a lot of it, that's why. It gave you a, a very uh, a, a finite ending but at the same time, it let you, you don't know what happened to Jesse. You don't know, did Jesse get arrested on the way out? Did he get killed? But you didn't need to know that with him. You wanted him to get away after everything he's been through. So I thought that was also a really good ending. I will just tread lightly because I don't want to hear a bunch of comments about this because it's my favorite show of all time. I liked the Lost ending. And I know that's a polarizing ending and people either like it or don't. People don't understand Lost. People that haven't watched it all are just going to say, oh, this or oh, that. I don't want to hear any of that. Don't leave that in the comments. We don't want anything negative, right? The reason I like the Lost Ending is that the character ensemble and the way they develop those characters meant a lot to me at a time in my life where it was needed. And so seeing the different things that happened across the final season and the character moments made it wonderful to me. That's what I liked. So that's how I feel about Lost, which is my favorite show ever. Now, maybe a reason we've got this, we've got the big Game of Thrones ending. You're coming up in just a few months, and uh, it's a lot of people, tens of millions of people waiting to see what happened. Book readers and show or watchers alike don't know what's going to happen here. And uh, so, it, and it's not the creator telling the story. It's, it's the people that have adapted it. So that's a different thing that we're going to experience here at Game of Thrones. But I'm excited. I'm excited for the journey of that. I'm going to probably have a watch party for every episode. I think there's uh, six remaining and, uh, and and have a good time as best I can. So anyway, that's Daily Dub for today. I hope you're having a great Friday. Let's get into the weekend. Let's have some fun. Uh, I know uh, Victoria's coming to visit this weekend. David and Megan are coming over tonight. We're going to have a good time. Uh, we actually have some work to do, and then I don't, we're going to do some stuff this weekend too. And then on Monday, I hit the road again, back by myself, and I'm going up to Jersey, Philadelphia area. So uh, a lot of people have given me some suggestions of where I should go. Anyway, thanks for watching. Give us a good, you know, oh, 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 mm, no, squeeze it.